Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, I thought we could check in on one of our fellow creators and just kind of see what they're up to. If this post gets 1,000 likes, Kato will have to use gold roses on her island. How could she say no to 1,000 people? And that's easy, I just say no. But 5,000 people? How could I say no to 5,000 people? So here we are, we're on my island. Dan and the rest of you, you're all gonna get your wish. We are going to create a complete gold core inspired build. So if you're interested in content like this and you wanna see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time that I post and let's get right into it. As you can see, Goldie has already betrayed my trust and is watering my gold roses for me. So there's that. We can't do a gold build without a gold outfit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and then we will start this process. If for some reason this is your first video you've seen of mine and you can't tell, gold roses are my least favorite thing in Animal Crossing. I know that a lot of people love them and I love that for those people, but I cannot stand them. The shine of them does not match anything else in the game. The fact that they don't have green stems throws me off every single time I see them and my members have made it their mission to troll me constantly with the gold rose. So it's just my least favorite and I don't like using them. But today we are going to use them. I'm going to create a garden full of gold roses and I want this build to be full of gold items as much as I can tolerate and we're just going to see what happens. So I started off by collecting some gold items. I asked my members to send me whatever they wanted to that was gold and I'm going to kind of pick and choose which items I think are going to work. My initial idea was to have a gold rose garden on the left. I wanted to kind of have a little farm element. I felt like that was the easiest way to incorporate them, but then I also wanted to use these tiles that I found as well that were white marble with some gold accents. So I did decide to use those two and I just kind of went from there. No real plan beyond that point. And you're gonna see me really struggle with trying to sort out what exactly I'm doing in front of this house. It was totally out of my comfort zone. No idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to let you watch me build for a bit and then I will come back and talk some more about what I'm doing.
Okay, so you can see I have built a cliff on the left hand side and really the only reason I wanted that cliff there is so I didn't have to move those houses that were back there. I needed something to block them. I have started to add this road going across the front. This is another one of those builds that I'm really only building what's going to be seen inside of a picture. So keep that in mind, nothing beyond this is going to be decorated. You can also see that I've added the golden bathtub. And to be honest, I actually kind of like that item. I think it's pretty nice looking. Another thing I wanted to incorporate was some of this yellow fencing. I'm trying to use yellow items as well as the gold items to tone down the gold just a little bit. But honestly, it's just a lot. There's a lot of yellow, there's a lot of gold, which is definitely the point, but it was a struggle. I wanted to make sure that I included some natural elements as well, like a bunch of trees, bushes, a few other flowers that weren't the golden roses, because I still wanted to add my take on it and not just put a bunch of gold items down. So you're gonna see some natural elements too. I have this dirt path, like I said, the road, and then I've done some of that kind of inverted pathing technique just to make the grass look like it's blending into the road and I really love that. I did that on one of my islands before and it's one of my favorite ways to incorporate the in-game path. So I'm going to add a few more elements here and we're really close to wrapping up this build and I will come back with the finished product.
Okay, wrapping up the build here. Dan, everyone else, I hope you're happy. I finally did a gold core build. What do you think? I actually, I don't want to say this, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I still don't love the gold rose, but overall, I don't think it looks that bad. So let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!